right, time for a Warwick game. I will be playing this one against the Jax here, which is a terrible matchup for me, honestly. The, the dodges, they're going to hurt. So definitely not trying to fight the Jax here as much as possible. We also have Nasus Wither, which is also not great. So, uh, you know, we're going to be playing for bot side here. See if we can uh, get these immobile two champions to die quite a few times. Should be very doable. Good fears with E, etc. Very doable. He's starting blue. I mean, it's two tanks top lane, basically. It's going to be such a non-interactive lane that I'm just not even going to bother. And just, again, two very squishy immobile champions bot lane. Should be fairly free. Is he going to help me give me a leash? Looks like he is giving me some kind of leash. I'll take W then. If he gives me low leash, I'd generally take Q, but... Yeah, if he gives, like, the early assistance on the on the hits here, I just tend to go W, because then once it gets below a certain threshold, your attack speed goes up, and it's just really nice. Mm, okay. Uh, if you want to smite something as Warwick, I generally recommend smiting it instantly as well. So, like, if I'm going to start Gromp, I'm just going to insta-smite Gromp, because you want to get it low to synergize with, like, your W's clear speed potential, right? It's kind of, yeah... Starting either Q or W on the camp generally doesn't too matter too much, though, I will have to say. Alright, we need to hit at minimum level 3 before we consider a gank. So even if someone is going to get the like, literal 1 HP right now, we're not going to blood hunt just yet. Um, because we have to hit level 3 to be able to have all our skills. And if we don't get a blood hunt opportunity, we're just going to keep clearing. You don't have to... Like, Warwick is obviously not the best clearer, but it's not so bad that you don't want to clear at all, you know? The pep makes it fine. If I have a good opportunity for a blood hunt, I'll move. That's that's about it. Right here, it's very important that you like focus the big one a little bit, but then also just kind of spread your auto attacks a little so you can use your pet to your advantage. Uh, so right here, you can see I'm spreading auto attack hits, so my pet basically kills the small ones as the big one die, and that saves you some clear speed, or that gains you some speed, I guess you should I should say. She is very low already. No barrier mid either. Jax is going there. I need to finish the camp. Is he gonna die? He is gonna die. I wonder if this guy has flash or not. I am trolling. I did... Ah, uh, okay. That was very dumb on my end. Probably should have been a free kill if I just had some brain cells, but I don't, so... Unlucky. <laughs> I did... I don't even know what I thought in that situation. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't ask me. I have no clue. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Just brain lacked entirely, and it's just over at that point, I guess. Gonna W activate so we get the movement speed boost. Thank you. Perfect. That is one kill at least. We take that. And I'm just going to go recall over here. I right, got a nice bot lane flank for a gank. That gank was better. First gank on mid lane. Very troll. Not even sure what I was thinking with that. But hey, you know, <laughs> it's fine. I got my TM at first back. We're happy. All right, going to run top as fast as possible. Going to have to danger ping there. I don't ever reach this in time, sadly. Seems like Jax just gets a couple of free kills here. I'm trying to make it here, but I don't know if I can. I have a lot of movement speed, though. I definitely don't make it. Unlucky. Is Jax going to help him push? That's going to be a big question here as well. I still had Ghost. Okay, yeah. No, that's a rip. Are we going to dive this guy? Is that, a is that a doable possibility? I don't want to give him the wave, so... I'm going to wait out this thing. Just fear him on that so he gets knocked up as well and he should just insta-die, right? I could tank one hit there and it should be fine. They really should kill him though. There's no way he should live here. Yep, very good. Very, very good. That's a clean dive. He needs to recall as well. That, that Nasus is going to lose a lot there. That's pretty worth I was able to fear the Jax and then CC chain him basically into the Tom Kane's knock up, which was pretty ideal. 
I wasn't going to hit the Nasus in that position because with the Wither on me, the second I hit him there, I would just insta die to the turret. That would not be worth it, of course. Uh, so I just made sure to stall, wait for the Jax to show up. I saw the other rotation as well. Tom Kench is coming back. It was pretty free. Just had to wait for a decent opportunity for that to work. And it, uh, you know, paid off. Team did a very clean dive there. And my goal here is just to play Void Grubs. So I'm going to clear my topside two camps and then I'm going to try to go for Void Grubs after I hit level five. I'll keep the last smite here. I do want to like clear at least this quadrant before I go because I don't want to kind of do it and leave all my camps up. Hitting level five here is relatively important as well. Okay, I'm going to probably have to like danger ping bolt area somewhere. So just think the Jax is going to be there. Oh, he's here. Okay, very interesting. I respect the fact that he saved this uh, thingy. I got one of them. Just focus this guy and it's free. Oh, he just pulled me right into the Nasus. That's so free. <laughs> I, I had a slight inkling there that he was going to try to Q towards the Nasus to get distance. And I just hold Q and I follow him. Oh, it's so free. Holy. That was beautiful. I got to fear on the both of them at the same time and it's just over for them. I got one of the Void Grubs. I was kind of surprised he actually rushed the Void Grubs. Like, actually kind of surprised. I mean, fair, fair play to him, to be fair, but like, I, it's just a bit of a weird move, honestly. I'll take it, you know, but, you know. Alright, not bad. I get the Titanic here. Or build components towards the Titanic at the very least. Um, I should just do this and a health crystal, yeah. Let's do that. And then we clear our bolt side quadrant. And we look for something. I might just want to run straight bolt here. In case this guy stays. Uh, she's going to get the recall off, unfortunately. Uh, the other guy backed in a safe position as well. Okay, we're just going to clear both sides. They backed. I could see where they are, basically, with my blood hunt. I'm going to have to rotate both here. Trying to get here in time. Jinx actually didn't end up recalling. We just ult this guy here. I need my team to, like, actually hit the jacks. They're just, like, ignoring me. That's very unfortunate. I have the flash hair. Is she level 6? She is level 6, so I do have to be a little bit careful, actually. I'm not 100% sure why a Kai'Sa with ult uh, doesn't just want to ult forward when I ult the jacks there. It should be free. But, okay. She also still had barrier as well. Zyra ult? I don't know. Zyra doesn't have any mana, so I kind of respect that one. That's fine. I'm just a bit confused as to why that wasn't a harder engage. Still a kill, though, and I didn't die, so I guess I'm pretty happy with that. Just a bit... Yeah, I don't know. If that if that if that's how it goes, I'm a little bit worried. That That's only the only thing I can say. I'm just a bit worried about the lack of follow-up there. In this case, it was fine, but if that is, like, a regular thing, that could potentially be something I have to be very careful for. Keep maxing W first, and just clear my topside camps here. Making sure to keep, like, a relatively good clear tempo at this point. I want to try to get all three of the Void Grubs next, so I have the four spawn marker, which should be pretty good. I hope my mid laner just recalls in time. He thinks I think he's just fine. Perfect. Good. Lux ult used. Might be able to go top here in a second. I think I can go, can go top lane here, honestly. Good kill. I have to manually activate here. Don't have much of a choice. I have to wait. I am so dead here, yeah. Ah, uh, mm, okay, well, that was a bit less optimal than I was hoping for. But uh, maybe Akshan cleans them up and say uh, re revives me or something. That could be kind of nice. I don't think so, but... Oh my god, that's close. That's real close. I should, however, still be able to make it to the Void Grubs. Just ping where he is in case he has some type of way of getting there. I don't think he does, but who knows. 
I could use the movement speed towards the mid laner here, maybe. Nope. I lost the movement speed halfway through that run, unfortunately. It's gonna go for Void Grubs here. This guy is backing. It should be free. He's putting a lot of pressure on mid right now. Just want this. If my team rotates for this, that's what I want right now. I have one smite, so I just have to use it on the last one. I'm gonna hold it. If Jax like all ends me here, that's fine, I guess. I need Akshan to not be AFK mid right now because Jax just hit the plant there. It's actually important that we actually get all of these. I need to finish the Void Grubs right now. Finish it good. There we go. Perfect. Akshan in that position was way too slow though, so that was a bit worrying. It's a good kill. Dash after, and then lethal tempo hits get in there. Oh, beautiful. And then I could just go dragon here. Uh, Rosara just recalls. She pings dragon like six times in an insta call. Recalls, I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, Q as you, like auto attack and then hold Q so you can uh, dodge the knock up. Why is I, like Kaisa not showing for this? Mm, I'm actually not sure if I can make this now. I hope I can. It's now below half, so it's a lot better. But like, yeah, okay, I do make it. it, it it's a bit iffy there. Like, I feel like the, the with the way my team played that, like with the instant recall from Zyra and then the normal rotation from Kaisa was like, chances at getting that stolen. Or chances. I mean, can't really do anything here. Jax is top. I guess I'll check his wolves and stuff. If they show back bolt here, I can rotate the bolt and I just kill the enemy ADC. Take his entire bolt side here for sure. An ally has been slain. Gonna do this, gonna do blue. Just take everything. If he trades for my top side camps, that's respectable, but yeah, obviously uh, we just take this while he's still playing. I kind of want to go for Jinx, but kind of don't. It's a bit of a toss up. We go mid here. Just fear into an ult so she gets perfectly CC'd. And Zyra took the turret aggro perfectly as well. Very nicely played from Zyra there. That, that type of turret aggro taking by just ulting to get turret aggro is huge right before I engage. That's what, exactly what I want to see. Beautiful stuff. Gonna fear the guy here. Okay, that may have ended slightly badly for me. Actually, this guy doesn't have dodge. I'm free here, right? I'm, I'm chilling. He used his dodge already, so it's pretty free at that point. I have to activate my W here. Okay, I maybe didn't have to, but I think it's fine. I'm gonna queue this for a bit of healing. And I'm just gonna go for his Raptors. I think. I don't really want to try to overstay or anything here. I have Blade of King soon. My entire jungle is up here. I just have to clear for now. Okay, that's not a Blood Hunt I'm going for. I get a lot of movement speed towards the Jinx there, but it's just not worth it right now. Because I just have to clear my camps for a bit. Because I have just all my camps up right now. And you don't want to neglect that too much. Good. Okay, I'm, I might have to actually... I don't know if I can even make this at this point. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, interesting. That's a bit optimistic, probably. Guess I do this, do wolf, uh, scuttle here, sorry. And then wolves. I do have to reset soon. Good kill. Akshan is doing very well. He's like following my plays very well. That's very good to see. I need you to actually hit him, my boy. Like, you actually have to hit him, please. He... He just kind of hard trolled a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Oh, that Jinx rocket is beautifully placed. I needed my Akshan to actually hit the guy as I CC'd him. Like, if he could just do that, that's free. I need to get Mercs against that team, absolutely. 
No? Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. He doesn't like I like the last little bit there. I, I had him CC'd for I mean what's the combination of this? 2.5 sec uh sorry, one second into like a three second ult. What is it? Uh, 1.5. He was second. See, okay, he was CC'd for three seconds, thereabouts. Something three seconds related. And then he waited the entire three second CC duration and then he walked back to hit when he got his dodge back, when he got everything back. So it was a bit that was a bit weird. If not for the Jinx Rocket, I probably would have killed the Lux too, but that was a beautiful Jinx Rocket, so I have to say. But I, I wasn't worth that much of a shutdown. Okay, good. It wasn't that bad. Rotating over. Why would you ever flash? I guess I'll take a flash. I don't really mind this scenario too much. Dragon in 30 seconds. I'm just gonna get my smite upgrade here. And we'll look for the dragon. Ooh, beautiful kill. He still got one. Good. That's a pretty good death boost right there. That could work. This guy has uh, some free buffs that I want, so let's go. Alright, beautiful. Solid. Give me those buffs. Uh, they might, pro they're probably doing Rift Herald. I don't think I can really stop it. I don't really mind either. They can have the Rift Herald. I'll take a dragon. I'm assuming that's going to be Rift Herald down in like any second now. I'm assuming. Otherwise, I might still be able to go for it. Maybe. I will have to reset soon for the uh, Mercs though. There's the Rift Herald. Yep. It's a good kill. I can probably take his wolves and his Gromp here. I don't really care about killing this guy, honestly. Like, she is 0 and 5. She's not worth that much gold. I can, I'd can. i rather just take the entire bot side camp situation here. Okay, I can probably do this. This is fine. Oh, well, that's annoying. That's a good Jax rotation. And uh, the kite ability from her. I don't. I just currently don't get that back in time. I think if I had my E back in time, that could be okay. Okay, I, I disrespected the Jax rotation. That's completely on me, obviously. Uh, probably going to go Spirit Visits next item. Yeah, definitely going to go Spirit Visits next item. Jax does, like, a decent amount of magic damage here. And there we are. Magic damage, magic damage. Narcissus. Okay amount of magic damage. I believe his ult damage is entirely magic damage. So, and I get a healing increase from Spirit Visit. So I guess either one is fine. Yeah, I'll just do Spirit Visit next. Uh, I'll get the orb for now. It's okay. I think if I had ult in the previous position, I would have double killed them. But I needed ult. That's going to be a dead guy. Yep. Okay. I wasn't worth a shot down there, though, this time around, so it's not too bad. I also didn't lose an objective or anything, so I don't really mind it too much. Obviously, a tad bit aggressive on my end, but uh, it's not not too big of a deal. I need to run towards my team here. Trying to make it as fast as I can. Woo! And we engage. Get that guy out of there as well. Beautiful. I was able to use the massive amount of movement speed I get uh, towards this play. Just like, oh no, you got withered. I that don't think I can help you. I'm sorry, Zyra. I don't think she had to save me like that. She could have uh, had more distance and like just snared him from a bigger distance, basically. Should have been free, I think, but I mean, fair play. Do this, do bolt scuttle, maybe? Like, there's a play I can go for here. Oh, he just used his dodge, didn't he? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, amazing. It's going to be a decent engage. Focus this guy, please. Are you flashed? Okay, that's fine. Maybe I have to activate it. Oh, there's a lux here. Okay. Take the lux, then. Sure. 
I thought he dodge jumped on the uh, thingy, by the way, but he didn't. It's not up for seven seconds, so I'm going to have to wait that out. I believe his topside camp should be there. I want to hit turret now first. Got to hit this down. It should be fine. I have the four spawn marker on this. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Go for it, because that guy... Perfect. It's not bad. I really just want to take his topside camps right now, because I'm pretty sure everything should be up. Hopefully my team doesn't overextend here. I might have no choice. I don't think I have a choice. Okay, that's an engage from Lux on me. He seems to be out. Uh, I do want to check the red. We have 50 seconds-ish on Dragon. I think it's up. It is up, yep. I do really want to get the red buff here and don't give them any, uh, like give them red buff at all. Definitely be playing for that. If I smite now, I'll get it in back in time, right? Yeah, it's fine. I should be okay. Yeah, I should definitely in time. All right, get the spirit visits on this back, and I will build for thorn mill next. Get the heal cut in there as well. I think the healing increase and uh, this is just going to be better for now. Get a cloth armor, perfect, and then we play for dragon. It's going to be thorn mill next item here, basically, and get the heal cut, uh, get the armor. And then we're looking at probably a Warmorg's last item slot. It's a very solid item. Gives me some movement speed, gives me some of that HP regeneration. I think I have to go mid lane here, don't I? I don't want to lose our entire base, I'll go mid. Hopefully that's not going to backfire on me. Hopefully my team actually kills Nasus here. I don't think he gets to fight me here. Actually, he might. The why is Jinx mid? Oh, yeah, that's my that's my death probably. Okay, I I thought it was just gonna be Jax, and if it was just gonna be Jax, I think I would have been okay. But the second Jinx showed up, that little bit of damage here at the end definitely got me. Damn. I generally thought Jinx would just be bot lane. I don't know why I thought that, but I, that's that's why I was gonna fight the Jax the way I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't really fight the Jax like that because he obviously has like that initial advantage. And if he has any type of backup after that, like with that initial advantage, I will always just lose the fight because I don't get to hit him back for healing. But if he doesn't have enough damage to kill me within within that initial advantage, then I just get the lifesteal back endlessly and he loses. So that's why I went for the fight because I could lifesteal through the rest of his damage at the very end. However, uh, yeah, as soon as Jinx showed up and did like 700 damage, which was a very important 700 damage, I just simply die. So that was a bit on me. I didn't expect Jinx there at all, so it's a bad death on my end. I didn't lose an objective for it once again, so it's kind of fine. Jinx rocket down. Okay. Get this down and we move. It's a good engage, good fear. My ult's going to be up in three seconds, so this guy's going to be dead in three seconds. I'm going to ult him so he doesn't kill my ADC here. Good dodge. I'll take the turret aggro for now. I'm taking as many hits from my Tom as, as I can so he doesn't just get like insta-killed there, but he, st he still ended up dying. I needed my team to like hit turret and stuff. I, the only thing I can do there is just tank for him and then that type of dive. Right here what I'm doing is I'm regening my health back to full before I go back in. Or before I take a chance to go back in. You get your dodge the last second again. Oh, you... S All right, fine. He flashed. I'll take a flash. That's so annoying. Literally, I was about to just chomp him for so much damage that he would just insta-die, and then that happened, you know? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Ah, I just get kited on such fine margins. It sucks. Okay, I mean, I guess I went... I was a bit dumb there. Fair enough, but... So close, man. It's so close. I just didn't have vision in the bush there. I Yeah, I didn't have a way to play Solward either, so I guess going for that was just dumb on my end. This matchup is just so bad. Like, the dodge from Jax just ruins me every time. 
because otherwise he would have just died in this position. If he would have been able to get the fear on him, he would have also died, but he flashed the fear properly, so that was very smart on his end. Yeah, well, I mean, I have to respect it. Like, I'm making some silly errors, obviously. They actually got Baron off that play? That is crazy. I should be able to... Ch we should be able to chase this. I right, actually got Baron. I'm actually m way more upset with myself because they also got Baron off of it now. I trolled really hard. Hear him there. All right, good. Yeah, I, I messed up, man. I messed up big time. Too greedy. I could have just chilled up. Oh, yep, yeah, lovely. That's a shutdown for a thousand gold. You're not going anywhere, buddy. You're just gonna die. I'm dead here as well now, lovely. Wait, what? Ah, I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, Jax. You are a very annoying champion, I have to admit. <laughs> Those dodges are... Like, the fact that Jinx actually hit the, the hit the rocket shot on Kai'Sa for a thousand gold shutdown is gonna hurt us a lot as well, I think. This game, after I made this error here, and they got Baron, turned out... Uh, it's gonna be a problem. It's on me for dying there. Here on both sides, obviously. It got too greedy. I thought I could make the play happen, but it just, like... It's barely not... Just barely. Okay. It'll be fine. As long as I can uh, protect my team from the jacks, I should be okay. Getting Thorn Mill finished will be good here. Probably just, yeah, the Warmox with that. I'll be fine here, it's fine. I really am, like, losing a, a bunch of my lead, though, which is, uh, like, just some, some stupid mistakes. Just a bit too greedy. A bit too, like, presumptuous with certain plays, and it's just getting me. I still have Dragon Control. So as long as we play for Soul here, it'll be okay. I just hope my team doesn't, like, get killed before that. You see chain in here, hopefully. Very good kill. Nice. Getting the jungler out of the way there is huge. Uh, that's definitely good. I was able to fear and then ult. Yeah, generally, you want to always fear then ult. I'll clear this up. Enemy jungler is going to be dead when the dragon spawns. So it's a free dragon at this point. Should be fine. He gets a 700 gold turret. He might die here, but getting a 700 gold turret for it is fine. And they're all top side now as well. So I guess that's okay. We could maybe be like here, here. They just have to start it. It's okay. I'm, I'm not like trying to go for a fight here. I'm just seeing if like anyone walks up there, I can maybe assassinate it with Akshan. As long as my bolt lane just starts dragging here, it's completely fine. Jinx rocket used. Right here, I just need my Kai'Sa to just be here, basically. I need her to ult, essentially. That's what I really need from her. Where, where's the Kai'Sa ult, man? Like, what are you doing? He's gonna ult him here, and he should, should be dead. Yeah, thank you. I don't know why Kai'Sa was so afraid to, like, ult forward there. I'm gonna have to do blue first here, or wolves or something to heal. him here should be decent now, Tom Kans is a bit too afraid unfortunately would have liked to see a little bit more aggression there I could tank the third aggro for a little bit it's fine aggressive very aggressive That's bad. That's really bad, actually. I need to flash. Oh, he killed the minion right as I was about to... Okay. That was a very scary one. This... Oh, no. I have to go back. 
I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I, I, someone needs to back here. It's gonna have to be me. Uh, don't know what else to buy right now, so we're just sending it. Built him. Nope. Do I beat him in a 1v1 here? I don't think so with a wither. I think I'll just die. Yeah, I'm just dead. It's Nas's late game. Like, what am I going to do? Oh, the best thing I could do there is stall for time and hopefully my bot lane makes it back in time. But the wither is just too brutal. Yeah. It's an impossible 1v1 to beat him there. The best chance I had was CC locking him and the turret not dying, but the turret died to minions. I tried to stall him as long as possible, but it took my team forever to recall there as well, so it didn't help. Uh, I don't think there's an item I can build here that helps me kill Nasus. I don't think so. It's mostly physical damage. I could build an armor item perhaps, but... How much difference is that gonna really make, you know? He also has heal cut, I believe. Does he have heal cut? Yeah, he does have it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's much I can do right now. I, I really don't think so. Just gonna go Warmox next and it's fine. I tried stalling as much time as possible, but yeah, there was no, there was no recall coming in otherwise from my team. And obviously, like, 1v1-ing a Nasus at this stage in the game. Even though I'm very strong and he probably shouldn't be winning those, it is still a late-game Nasus right now, so he is winning those. Like, it's just way too strong. Try to rotate here quickly. Oh, he, ate the, he ate him in that moment in time. Are you kidding me? I need to have him to hit Nasus right now. Hit him, please! Hit him! What are you doing? Oh, how is this? How is this real? <laughs> Can we actually kill the Nasus, please? Like, I feel like he did not get target focused at all there. Kai's has Zonias, yeah, sure. But I feel like Akshan just kind of left. He needs to be target. Like, Nasus is the problem here, man. Like, it's so impossible to deal with that champion right now. I think they can just have a free Baron right now. I hope they do it. They're not going to do it, are they? Nah, they're not going to do it. Okay, fine. They could have done Baron, but they were just AFKing it. Okay, fair. Uh, dude, this champion is ridiculous. Like, at this stage in the game, it's ridiculous to face that. <laughs> it's just very painful. I, I, as Warwick here, I don't think there's anything I can buy that helps me win that 1v1. Or, like, helps me kill him either because of how much damage he just straight up does. So, I just have to hope that my team actually hits him while I tank the damage. I think that's the only thing I can do. I think the eat timing from Tom on the Jax there also wasn't very favorable in that fight. Wait, that Jax is just inting. What is this? That's just a free death into a free Baron. Baron? I just need him to Baron with me right now. This is free Baron. The second Jax dies there, it's just free. Okay, Kaisa's doing Baron, that's all I need. Okay, he's over chasing, unfortunate. That's that, that right there is just a such a absorbent amount of greed from him to chase that, it's no need. We can do Baron into Elder Dragon here and it's super free. That's all we have to do. Don't be daft, please. Oh no, this is not going to end well. Actually, okay, I disrespected Tom Kang's damage output potential, I will have to say. I did not think he would destroy that Jinx that hard. My bad. Fair play, mate. You did well. I kind of needed that, to be honest. He is not full build either, to be fair, but... That Puts me very close to level 18. I think I may have may have been able to hit like level 18 off dragon slash next camp there. I guess we're gonna have to, like do we have to? I need Tom Kench to zone the guy. It's very important that Tom zones him. Very good. We focus on the smites. I did not have ult range there anymore. That's fine, I guess. He still dies. 
I thought my ult was in range for that. Maybe it was like for a split second and then I lost it. I think that's the case. Don't get hit by that. Yeah, just Q hold as we flash there, so we go with. She doesn't do enough damage to kill me, it's fine. It's a bit of a struggle. I think it could have been cleaner, but you know. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. If you did, make sure the like button below it helps me quite a bit. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats for this one here, I ended up doing uh, 36k damage, which has a respectable amount, I would say, not too bad. I did make some mistakes. I was a bit too greedy, a bit too optimistic in certain situations, admittedly, which uh, made the game a bit more difficult, I suppose. Also, just the matchup, like facing a Jax as an auto attack based champ like Warwick, that is just a nightmare. There are so many fights he just won because of his like dodge mechanic being so strong. So there is that as well, to be fair to me, at least, you know. Uh, true damage at 2,500. We have objective damage at 48.1k. 47k for Kaisa means he just helped me with objectives in a lot of cases, which is very good to see. That's always very happy to see that. Healing down 36k. Uh, we have damage taken at 69.1. This is very good. Like the fact that I have very high damage taken, a little bit lower damage done, but just very high damage taken means I create openings for my team to be able to do damage because Kaisa is very low damage taken as well as Akshan, relatively low, right? Uh, Zyra. So I, if I can protect him, if I can make an engage happen here, I'm very happy with that. So I should have a lot of damage taken and a lot more self-mitigated on top of it. So I have another 83k self-mitigated here as well. So it took way, like, the most damage by a good margin. And Asus took a fair amount as well, but, like, yeah, creating openings for your team, trying to tank as much as possible, uh, even though late game Asus is very hard to tank. Still, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we have gold earned at 17k here. Very good. Jinx actually ended up having a lot of gold because she kept getting shut down, so fair enough to her. Uh, right here for the build, I would have gone Warmox in this slot here. And then probably at the very end, sell my boots for a jock show to be able to frontline entirely. Uh, if I get hit by CC at that point, it would be okay. Uh, but yeah, I could, I probably would end up doing that because I was trying to take as much damage from my team as possible, create openings, allow them to hit the Nasus, etc. So just being as tanky as I can be is good. If I needed some more damage, uh, I can go Warmox here still, obviously. I really like the Warmox still because it gives that passive movement, spread, uh, movement speed percentage, which is very nice. So if you sell your boots after that, uh, you can have enough movement speed, especially with your W and stuff, uh, to be able to reach targets still. Uh, but yeah, instead of Jock Show, last item to sell my boots for Jock Show. Uh, if I need to frontline, I'd go Jock Show, but I would go Bloodlords uh, if I don't, because then I just get a straight up damage increase from that item. Or you can go for Wit's End as well if you uh, want to go down the, that route a little bit more. That's also an option. But usually I end up going Bloodlords there because it's just a very nice combination with this build. Uh, but yeah, a Lethal Tempo, I'm assuming did 1900 damage, which is very respectable. But obviously it only starts doing damage on max stack. So yeah, that's about the max stack time I had. I don't, this is probably just bugged. I, I'm not sure how to read this yet. It's, it's like kind of assuming. A Triumph for 2700 HP, 600 gold, haste for the abilities. I like the abilities more than the attack speed with Lethal Tempo, especially because you get a lot, a lot of attack speed from this, you get a lot of attack speed from your kit itself, and just having that extra bit of ability haste for the ult and Q cooldown and E cooldown, you know, in fights, I like it. A last stand for 800 damage in close fight, extra damage, and then Celerity and Water Walking for purely movement speed increasing uh, potential and... Uh, with that being said, that was it for Warwick. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't miss the like button below. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.